By the end of this year, over half of the U.S. population is going to own a smartphone. Hi, I'm Christy and this is Tim. And on this week's Think Tank Tuesday, we're going to give you three tips on how to make your mobile device marketing the best in the business. be wondering where Paul is. Well, we are too. He's actually on the road this week, so Tim and I are going to fill in for him. But just in case you are missing him, I was sure to wear one of his pocket squares. The first step to any marketing strategy is to make sure that you have the basics covered. And your first basic would be your mobile website. This is Tim, the Optimizer Jensen, and he's one of our specialists at Potrats, and he's going to tell you the elements that you need in your mobile website. Uh, the, the first thing to remember with a mobile website is that you're dealing with a much smaller screen so the, obviously the size of your website needs to be much smaller to fit in that and you need to have all the information right there so right when people go to it they see your inventory, they see your specials, they see everything they need to get to right there. Um, another thing to keep in mind as well is that iPhones and iPads don't support Flash, so while a Flash website might look cool on a desktop, they're not going to see any of those nice features when they're browsing the iPhone. And another thing is just making sure that everything is accessible right off the bat when people are there so they can get right to what they're searching for. So if they're searching for a Nissan Altima, they're right in your Nissan Altima inventory, our mobile landing page. That's great, Tim. I think the only other thing that I could possibly add to that is you want to be sure that your clickable buttons are big enough so when someone can easily touch the screen and get to where they need to go without having to make it larger. Our next tip is going to, that Tim's going to tell us about is advertising in apps. This is very exciting business. What did we just read, Tim? Something about the game Ugly Birds? Yeah, and Angry Birds. People spend over a hundred years in a day. If you add all the time everyone's spending playing Angry Birds, an actual stat online, they're spending that much time playing the game. And you know, if they have the free version of that or any other game or a weather app or whatever it is on their phone, they're seeing a little ad right on top or on the bottom of that app. And that's an opportunity you have to actually target people demographically. You can target by age, you can target by gender, you can target by a geographic location and reach people right when they're browsing their apps. Tim, what is more effective, text ads on mobile phones or graphic ads? Which has better click-throughs? From some statistics from Google, they're showing that people are actually more likely to pay attention to a display ad, so whether that's a display ad in the apps, which I believe do the best, or like a display ad on a site, which might be a remarketing or just general display ad, people are more likely to click that than the search. So that's why it's important to go beyond just having a search campaign, which is important, but also having your display ads out there with your message. And the third thing that we would like to tell you about that you shouldn't miss is using Google extensions. And they've added some really cool features. What are those, Tim? Yeah, so what the extensions are, and you can see this if you do a search and you see an ad showing up in Google search. It doesn't just show the ad, it actually shows some extra links down there and sometimes an extra map. So a couple things that are really cool for the mobile is that you can actually type in your address and add that and as an extension. And then it'll actually have a place where you can click and see where your car dealership is and actually get directions right through Google Maps to that. And there's another cool feature that they're implementing called Hyper Local Extensions where it'll actually detect that you're on your phone right around the corner from a dealership or whatever you're searching for and it'll show you what's right nearby when you're searching. Um, another extension to take advantage of is the click to call. You can put in your phone number and not only will it show with your ad, you can actually just touch that phone number and call immediately on your iPhone or Droid or whatever you might be using. So that's a couple features with the extensions that you can take advantage of in your search ads. 
And with our campaigns, Tim, we're seeing quite a few calls come through our mobile marketing campaigns. So I think the click to call is really, really important um, element that you shouldn't leave out. Also, we'd like to share with you, um, we have some clients who we haven't moved into mobile marketing campaigns and other clients that we have. And when we, we did a comparison and our clients that are using mobile marketing are showing at least a 10% increase to their website. So increased traffic to your website, it's all a numbers game, so that means increased leads. So don't, um, don't forget about your mobile device marketing. Be sure and tune in next week where you're going to see me again where I'm going to talk about what your first and most essential step is to creating a marketing campaign that's going to last a lifetime. Thanks for watching Think Tank Tuesday. Tune in next week for more tips in the world of automotive digital marketing from Potratz. To download this podcast or watch previous episodes, search for us on iTunes. To learn more, visit us at ppadv.com.